Check out this brute. Missing something there, bud. Hey guys, welcome back. We're fishing the Salmon River today. And it really wouldn't be a spring day in New York without a lot of rain and wind and of course, a high river. So we're gonna strap on the GoPros, we're going to throw on the sink tips and the heavy flies, and we're gonna start swinging for some steelhead. Stick around. Quick update, another to spot one, we're at spot two now. Alright guys, walking to spot number three now. The good news is that the sun came out. The bad news is that we still haven't got a fish. Now, we're swinging for spring steelhead on the Salmon River. And uh, you gotta put your hours in. You gotta slug it out. Because the uh, fish aren't always willing to take a swung fly, especially this time of year. So you gotta be patient, and you gotta put in the work. And uh, oftentimes, after a couple hours of swinging with no luck, I usually get a little uh, usually get a little uh, nervous that I'm not gonna get a fish, not be able to tie this video together to something. That's spring steelhead fishing. Really, that's steelhead fishing in a nutshell. You're never guaranteed a fish. And you gotta do, you gotta do the work, and you gotta do the work right. And even then, sometimes fish just don't wanna bite. So, sun's coming out, water's great, water's clear. I'm throwing on the secret weapon, my secret woolly bugger that I might do a fly tying video for. But, you know, we're going to drive on. We're going to persevere. It's only about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Sun goes down at 6. Or, I'm sorry, 8. Sun goes down at 8. So we got plenty of time. We got plenty of time to out hustle these fish. Plenty. Stay tuned.
Yes. <laughs> what a beast. Oh my God. He crushed that thing. Holy cow. What an absolute animal. Look at her. Oh, she is a good one. Come on, baby. I'm just gonna have to beat her, she's so big. Adrenaline is pumping. What a poor nut you have. Oh my god, she doesn't even fit in the net. That is unreal. Guys. Oh my god, I can't even get her out of the net. She is so big. Holy shit. Look at her. <laughs> Look at how big she is. Holy shit. Oh my god, I was getting so discouraged. <laughs> I threw it out in the big water. I was fishing this bank. Threw it out in the big water. She smacked it. Holy cow. Get her up again. banged up from being in the river for so long. Look at that. Look at that fish. Look at that. Well guys, we stuck with it long enough that it seems this spring, every time I start getting desperate and discouraged, that's when the fish uh, decide to appear. So I'm gonna show a little bit more desperation. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to get as much action in for the steelhead season wraps up and I move to Georgia and move on with my career and bring you guys along on the journey um, that fish was just surreal she was huge and that was a post spawn drop back female steelhead probably I'd say around 13 14 pounds man she must she probably Prior to her spawning, it was probably 15 or 16 pounds. That's crazy. Crazy big fish. Crazy great fight. Got it all on the GoPro, finally. Only took a few videos. So. 
Just a surreal experience. Swinging for spring steelhead is my favorite. They're so aggressive and just absolutely destroy flies. Whew. All right. I'm going to wrap up this video and uh, get some food.